Hello, today we're gonna disassemble uh, a Dell Alienware model. I think it's a M14X. It's a pretty good model. So the first thing we gotta do right now is uh, to remove the back cover. But since uh, they brought it without a back cover, we we continue to the next step, removing the battery first. It's held by uh, two bolts. Always remove the battery first. Like this, we're gonna leave it on the side. <coughs> After that, we have to remove the optical drive, which is held by uh, four screws. Then we have to unlock the connector which holds the cable. We have to be very careful with it, you know, from both sides. And after that, just leave the optical drive and leave it on the <coughs> on the side. Then we go to the hard disk, which is underneath the optical drive, it's held by th three screws you gotta lift it a little bit, after that you have to disconnect the, the cable for the drive like this we are going to the Wi-Fi card because uh, you know to, to clean the fan on this model you have to disassemble basically the whole laptop leave this on the side <clears throat> now we have to remove the screws with the letter K on the marking they're holding the the cover uh, this one is missing. Very strange. <laughs> okay. Moving on. We can remove the the RAM cover also. It's not necessary, I think, but you know, just to see. Yeah, like this. After that, we're turning the laptop around <clears throat> and we have to remove the the cover which holds uh, the keyboard you're starting from the from this position like this you have to be very careful it's very thin and fragile like this. After that, remove the three screws which are holding the keyboard. Lift the keyboard very carefully because underneath uh, there's a cable for the for the backlight of the keyboard also. So you have to be more careful with it. Let me see on which side it's better. Like this. You just pull it a little bit on the side. Unlock the backlight cable. And after that, disconnect the keyboard by itself. Put this on the side also. Now, the thing we gotta do, we'll turn the laptop around and remove all the screws in the back because uh, we have to make, we have to remove the, the cover Most of the places for the screws, they're written with a number so 
it shouldn't be very hard you know to remember the place of the boats those are the longer ones some of them are pretty loose probably somebody tried to disassemble it before that this <clears throat> turn the laptop around and remove I think we gotta remove the the button connector also because it's above the plastic have to be careful with it also like let me see no there's no need sorry I have disassembled the same model only once so now remove the two screws which are holding the upper cover like this after that remove the cable for the button the cable for the touchpad and this I think was the speakers connector like this and after that we have to start lifting the the cover now let me see where exactly yeah like this there's a clips in here you have to be very careful not to break something check first is there some bolts that I forgot to remove mm -hmm. yeah this one here but I think it's I think it's all loose okay moving on Like this, uh, there's a connector here also. We have to be very careful with it because it's very tiny. Like this, after that, gently move it a little bit. like this now <clears throat> we can disconnect the hard drive cable from here because we have to leave the whole the whole board after that remove this board in here lift it up gently then we have to disconnect the cables which are connected to the board like this and the other one is the LCD cable which 
should be left up. Like this. Now, <clears throat> one more cable here. This is probably for a Bluetooth, I think. Now we have to disconnect the cable for the BIOS battery and the for the buffer like this now we have to unwind all the screws with a white triangle Five of them, I think. Let me check. Yeah. After that, gently lift the whole board from one side. Like this and after that pull it on the reverse now lift the board up now to clean the fan <coughs> just unwind the screws which are holding you know the cooler for the processor and uh, for the video card, disconnect the the cable for the for the fan, clean everything, put a new thermal paste, and you know disassemble back on the on the reverse. Hope you like the video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.